Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly overlay historic maps on top of current imagery in Google Earth Pro. Google Earth Pro is the desktop version of Google Earth. Don't let the name fool you. It is free to download and install on Windows, Mac, and Linux computers. So what I'm going to do here is go to the Rumsey Historical Map Collection, which you'll find under the Gallery tab. So if you don't see the gallery expanded, just click on the little tab on the left-hand side and scroll down until you see Rumsey Historical Maps and turn that option on. And when you do so, you'll see these little markers appear on top of the Google Earth imagery. Now, if you are zoomed out, you won't see those markers appear until you start to zoom in on an area. And I should note that these maps are available for locations all over the world, not just North America. So let's go ahead and take a look over here at, let's say, San Francisco. And as I zoom in, we'll see the markers come into a bit more focus. There they are. And now we can click on one of those markers. So let's click on San Francisco 1915. And then when that appears, click on the thumbnail and it will overlay on top of the existing imagery of Google Earth. So you can see this historic map overlaid on top of the current version of Google Earth. Now, if you zoom back out, you can go and look at other places. Let's zoom out a little further. Maybe we'll go over here to Chicago. And as I zoom in, we'll see those markers. Let's click on Chicago. And now, in this case, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit in order to see that map in more detail. I can zoom back out and go and look at other places where there's Rumsey historical maps available. Now, if I want to remove those image overlays from my current view of Google Earth, all I have to do is go up here to my temporary places and unclick them, and those overlays are hidden. Now, if you want to permanently delete these, you can just select them, right-click, and go in and select the delete option. Now, it doesn't mean they're never available again, just means not available right now. I can turn them back on by going back in here and putting it back in place. So that's one way to easily overlay historic maps on top of current Google Earth imagery. Now, if you have your own images or your own maps you want to overlay on top of Google Earth, you can do that as well. And I have a video linked up down below that will show you how to do that. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.